Hi guys, my name is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you different ways to fix Wi-Fi connection problems in Windows 10. Now, there are several possible reasons for this problem, some minor and some major, but then there is only one common indicator, which is a red X on your Windows network icon. Or for some laptops like this HP ProBook 430, you may also notice an odd colored LED on your network button, which doesn't change back to normal after a press as it should. This orange colored LED should turn white after a press or two, just like the mute button here does. But instead, it retains the orange color, which is a clear indication of some faults with the network connection. So in this video, I'll be discussing the possible causes of this problem and the potential ways to solve it, ranging from software fixes to hardware fixes. And without any further ado, let's get to the process. So first, to avoid causing any further complications to this problem, I will advise that you follow the suggestions in this video in the order which they are presented. And if for some reasons you don't find the options I'm using for a particular fix, just skip it and move to the next one. And like I mentioned earlier, it could be a minor problem, but it could also be a major problem. So I will start off with the minor fixes. The first thing is to check if your laptop has a dedicated switch for wireless connections. This switch is usually tiny and may not be placed in the most obvious locations on the laptop. So you might need to do some searching to locate yours and then ensure that it's turned on. As easy as this may sound, there could be times when you unknowingly flip this switch and spend hours trying to figure out why you have a red X on your network icon and why your Wi-Fi connection won't work. So you should definitely start off with this fix. However, not all laptops have this switch, so it's okay if you don't find any on your laptop, in which case you should proceed to the other suggestions. The next fix would be to check that your Wi-Fi adapter has not been disabled in Windows settings, especially if you are running Windows 10. Because usually with Windows 10, the Wi-Fi adapter driver is automatically installed with Windows, especially if you're upgrading from Windows 7 or 8.1 to Windows 10. So if you're having this problem in Windows 10, then you need to check your Wi-Fi adapter settings. To check that, click on the Start menu and then click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. Then click on Network and Internet. Under Change your network settings, click on Change adapter options. Then you would see a list of all the network adapters currently on your PC. There you should find your Wi-Fi adapter as well. If you do not find your Wi-Fi adapter on this window, then you can skip this fix and continue with the other suggestions. If you find your Wi-Fi adapter on this page in gray color, then it implies that your adapter has been disabled either by a user or by some applications. Then you would need to simply right click and select enable to turn it on again. If for some reason this doesn't work for you, then proceed to the next suggestion. This next suggestion is similar to the previous one, only that this time you will be checking to see that your Wi-Fi adapter hasn't been disabled from the BIOS settings. To verify that, you will need to restart your computer. And upon restart, you can use either the escape key or the required function keys to navigate to your BIOS depending on your PC model. Then from the BIOS, go to Advanced tab and find either Onboard Device Configuration, Built-in Device Options or Miscellaneous Devices depending on your laptop make and model. Here you will find several devices including your WLAN adapter. Here you should ensure the status says Enabled, otherwise you will need to use the arrow keys to navigate to it and then hit the Enter key to reveal the available options and from there you should select Enable to turn on the adapter. Then save and exit using the required key, usually your F10 key, and then reboot up again and check if the red X has disappeared. If not, proceed with the next fix. For this next fix, we will be connecting our PC to the internet using an ethernet cable. If you do not have an ethernet cable or a LAN connection, then you can also use a USB Wi-Fi module like this one. Here you need to connect to the internet in order to check that your network driver is up to date. So with your laptop connected to the internet, open your search and type device manager. Then click on device manager from the search results. Go down to where it says network adapters. Click on the drop down to reveal your network adapters 
and from there you will find your Wi-Fi adapter. Again, if you don't see your Wi-Fi adapter here, then you should proceed to the other suggestions in the rest of the video. Now, if you see your Wi-Fi adapter here, right click and select Update Driver. Then, click on Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software and wait for the process to complete. If there is a later version than what you have already, it will automatically download it and replace the outdated one. Ensure it says here that the best driver is already installed. The next fix would also require an internet connection like the previous one, so here you will be running a full Windows update. Usually if you start experiencing this problem just after upgrading to Windows 10, then chances are that a full Windows update might fix the problem. To run your Windows update, simply type Windows update from the start search and click check for updates from the search results. Then wait for your updates to download and install. During this process, your Wi-Fi driver would equally be updated. If the system update still doesn't fix the problem, then you might have to manually download and install the Wi-Fi adapter driver. This you can do on another computer and then copy the file to your laptop and run. To ensure you download the right driver, you will need the full model number of your laptop, the operating system you are running, in this case I'm running Windows 10, and the platform which is either 32 bits or 64 bit. Then visit your manufacturer page and download the corresponding driver that matches your system specifications. Or you can simply search with your full PC model on Google, then click on the link from your manufacturer support page and select your system configurations. Then locate the Wi-Fi driver and download it. If the Windows 10 driver doesn't work, you could also try the Windows 7 driver. To install, simply double click the downloaded file and follow the prompt to complete the installation process. If none of the solutions so far has worked for you, then the next fix will go a bit on the hardware side. So you need to open up your laptop and locate the Wi-Fi card. Now look closely on the label to check the manufacturer model number of your card. In my case, this is an Intel Dual Band Wireless AC3160 and the model number is 3160HMW. Now with that information, I'll go back to Google and search for the Wi-Fi driver using the exact model number, then download directly from Intel and install accordingly. Now if all these suggestions have failed to fix the problem, then there is a high probability that you might have a failing Wi-Fi card, in which case you will need to replace the Wi-Fi card module. If you set to do that, then you should check the card that matches your laptop specifications before placing an order. In the case of this ProBook, it was actually the issue of failing Wi-Fi card and as soon as I replaced it, the network button light changed back to white again, the red X disappeared and my Wi-Fi now works perfectly. Hope one of these suggestions would work for you. Please share with us in the comments section which of them did. And if you discover some other fixes that wasn't covered in this video, please share with us also in the comment section and I will join the discussion. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.